absolutely. We do have a cyber crime unit that is dedicated to this. Uh, it will require, of course, someone coming forward to make a complaint. I know that there are a lot of young ladies who are affected uh, by virtue of the release of these videos. And so any one of them, I want to encourage them to come forward if it is that they feel offended, if it is that they feel humiliated, that they come forward and make a report. And we will try our very best, the police at the cyber crime unit, to identify those individuals who are sharing. Because like I said, it's been shared so many times, so many individuals can be charged for this offense. Our police also investigating another video which showed, um, I guess, sexual abuse towards a child, yeah? Yes, I asked the commissioner about that when uh, I was informed of the video. Um, and he had indicated that I think it was on Saturday or Sunday, right after the video was published, the individual in that video, uh, the alleged individual, because no faces are shown in that video, but the individual that uh, is suspected to be in that video was picked up and detained by the police, I, be I believe, down south.